More than 100,000 people have died in civil, uh, Syria's civil war in the past couple of years. Now, if UN investigators do find the Syria's president order the chemical gas attacks on his own people, President Obama says he is prepared to take action without calling Congress for a vote. News 4's Emily Bauckham spoke with some congressional leaders and asked their thoughts on this today. Emily? Polling shows that most Americans don't want a third war in the Middle East, but after last week's chemical weapons attack, some of our local congressional leaders are conflicted. Weapons inspectors from the United Nations hope to wrap up their investigation by Saturday. President Barack Obama told PBS he's considering military action. We have concluded that uh, the Syrian government, in fact, carry these out, and if that's so, then there need to be international consequences. Here in San Antonio, Representative Joaquin Castro told our local Chamber of Commerce he's waiting to see the president's plan. The congressman says he does support some intervention. I'm not in favor of putting boots on the ground in Syria. Uh, I'm open to the idea of military strikes, targeted strikes, uh, to make sure that uh, the Assad regime doesn't do the kind of grotesque actions against uh, innocent folks in Syria. But Senator Ted Cruz told Fox News he's against any military action. Instead, he says we should focus on finding any chemical weapons and keeping them out of the wrong hands. The United States Armed Forces is not, doesn't exist to be a policeman for the world. And, and I certainly hope the reaction isn't simply lobbing some cruise missiles in to disagree with Assad's murderous actions. Meanwhile, Representative Lloyd Doggett told an Austin radio station he doesn't want the president to, quote, go it alone and hopes Congress gets to debate whether the nation attacks Syria. Representative Joaquin Castro also made the point, even though Syria is half a world away, any military action would have a local impact. As we know, San Antonio is military city USA, and he says if there is a ground war in Syria, there's a huge possibility that our local troops would be a part of it. We're live downtown. Emily Bauckham, News 4, San Antonio.